Kroger Creations, brought to you by Kroger and the Midwest Culinary Institute at Cincinnati State. Good morning, happy 4th of July. Take a second, run to Kroger, pick up some ingredients and you can have a great Sunday bar a little bit later today. I'm gonna to show you how to make an agave syrup chocolate sauce. So you're gonna start with two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of agave syrup, and the agave syrup can be found in the healthy food section with the other sugar ingredients. And we're gonna stir that up with one half cup of sugar and you're gonna bring it to the boil and let it cook to 265 degrees. If you don't have a candy thermometer, what you're just trying to do is to get it to reduce down to about half. When you start to kind of smell a little bit of a caramel smell, stop. Go ahead and add in one half cup of heavy cream, one fourth cup of milk, and we're gonna stir that around. And then we're gonna add in eight ounces of bittersweet chocolate, and I would recommend the bittersweet chocolate, not unsweetened, um, it's gonna be kinda, ooh, you don't want that. And then milk chocolate really is not gonna add any flavor, and it should be hot enough that it's going ahead and melting it. Okay, it's nice incorporated, the chocolate has melted, and then I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of softened, no salt butter. You just bring it out of the refrigerator for about a half an hour and then just stir that up and what you're going to notice the butter's going to do it's going to make it really shiny now the other thing that the butter's going to do and the chocolate is that you know that when you add heat to it it melts but when it cools down it gets hard so once you make this today serve it hot anything that's left over store in your refrigerator for up to one month but remember what happens to chocolate and butter when they get cold, it's gonna re-solidify. So you're gonna need to thin it out again so you can just put it in the microwave or a double boiler just to loosen it up again. So I went and picked up some waffle bowls at Kroger for the kids, or you can serve in glasses, but I'm just topping everybody off with some sauce. And then you can just go wild. Fresh fruit, sprinkles. It's a great treat for a hot summer day. For more information on Creations Cooking and all of Chef Meg's recipes, visit Kroger.com. Then stop at your local Kroger for all the ingredients and get cooking.